do. Okay. You sound nervous. And then it, <laughs> yeah, it, it's being upbeat's not my. Hello and welcome to the Offhand Tales podcast. My name is David. My name is Jordan. And I'm Terry. This is the first episode of this podcast, so we will run down what it will be consisting of. So we wanted to do something a little different with this podcast, and we are storytellers by nature, so we decided to incorporate that. Uh, so we came up with the kind of game that me and David would be uh, would do through text messages on occasion. Uh, what we will do is put a bunch of categories for genre and subgenre, respectively, into a hat, and one person would pick a genre, and then another would pick a subgenre. Then we will, then we also have categories of things we call things to do, and they are simple directions that we each pick two of, and we have to abide by these directions and incorporate them into the story at some point within the season. And the season will usually consist of ten episodes, and at the end of the season, we will try to guess what the things to do each person had, just to give us something a little more fun to do. Also, at the beginning of each episode, the whole crew will pick one thing to do that we all, at some point in the episode, ha will have to do, so it gives us some place to go. And the way we're going to do this, um, the story, is we'll do a coin toss, and whoever wins can decide if they want to go first, second, or third. And then the other two would have to uh, do another coin toss to see who would get to choose whether they want to go first, second, or third, or whatever the other person doesn't cho choose. Um, and then each person gets five minutes exactly to type out their part of the story. And then once their five minutes are up, they read their part out loud, and then the next person would go. And in those five-minute increments, um, it'll be like a normal podcast where we just talk except for the person writing, unless they can talk and type at the same time, unlike David. Yeah. That was an actual problem uh, at first because uh, we did a test and it just didn't really work out with only me and Jordan. So we decided to bring someone else in, which is our good friend Terry. That's and me. we'll, <laughs> we'll kind of let everyone uh, get to know us and actually start the writing. So yeah, let's actually do the coin toss and get started. Um, I do not have a coin, coin ready, but I will get it. I'm getting it ready. You hear yeah, my paper drum with a dollar. <laughs> yeah, is that, is that twenty dollar bill actually, sir? Oh boy! All right. And oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. it's gonna be between. Since you're flipping it, it'll be between me and Terry. All right. So Terry, heads or tails? There you go heads. And Jordan is tails. I like getting heads up. And tails. I win. You win. Right. Um. So I think I'll go. I'll go first, actually. Okay. And then you two have to. Then I'll, I'll do the flip coin. You guys. David, you call heads or tails? All right, I'll go heads. <laughs> it's tails. What do you, you want, second or third? I'll go third. All right, Terry's going third, David's going second, and your truly will be going first. All right. So All right, so I'll pick a genre since I won the coin toss first. Hmm. Action. Oh, boy. All All right. Right. Action for one, the genre. Right. And then let Terry pick the subgenre. Yep. Pick right, one, Terry. sir. Melodramas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish we could cut this out and just like repick. So an action melodrama? Like, what the fuck does that consist of? I don't know what that consists of, dude. Yeah, I really don't either. Well, it... <laughs> it looks like we're going to start a whole new genre. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really don't understand what we're writing just, now. Just picture just like days of What is of a melodrama? Like genre. days of our lives. Yeah. Like a days of soap our opera. Lives. Yeah, like a oh, one Jesus. of those dramatic it's an action soap opera. <laughs> you guys are in for a fucking treat. I was really hoping for it. Cuz the first time we did this with the test we got sports comedy yeah. and that's something we didn't want to do. But we were going to do it no matter what. But we really I wanted sci-fi western. Oh, we have to pick the things to do. Yep. Um, things to do. Yes, we do. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> All right. Put the, uh, come get on. The, you got you to get, get into it and you got to flex your, your muscles with this. How can you do an action melodrama? <laughs> Be dramatic. I got to start but, this? <laughs> Dude, you, do. You, <laughs> you get to have a lot of expo like exposition, though. Yeah. <laughs> Drag it out like. Oh, you have to drag this out. <laughs> it's ten episodes, so. How many do we have enough to? Yeah, two each. Two, two each. each. Okay. Yeah, that's why I made. That's why I changed it okay. from three each. So. I'll pick that one. All right. Oh, don't 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 tell us what yeah, you got. Yeah, don't tell us. So just pick two, and then keep them hidden. Well, mine's not fucking hard. Pick two. Yep. One more. Ooh. I gotta pick one more too. Oh, I I already picked two. 
so it's okay. Okay. Dump those. <laughs> Mine are actually pretty easy. So the things the things to do will s happen sometime over the next season. This is awesome. <laughs> I gotta start this. Uh, mine are the exact same from when we did the test run. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> oh, I'm about to die. Uh, All right, yes, so Sam? I'll start and I'll get the timer up. And then t uh, you and Terry can talk. Yeah, five minutes, oh boy. <laughs> Action melodrama. <laughs> uh, uh, it's best to not look at what he's typing, so I just kind of gently close my laptop screen yeah, for now. It's, you're not supposed to look at what I'm typing, you motherfuckers. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just do this. Make it easier if I do this. Just, just minimize. Tone uh, yeah. yeah, well, <laughs> look at that. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, and you guys have the regular podcast talk about. I'm a problem solver. Just um, <laughs> actually talk about who you are to begin with. Uh, so like, let Terry go first, and you can talk about yourself a little yeah, bit. Sure. What if I want to go second? What? Do you want to go second? <laughs> I don't care. You're going first then, bitch. <laughs> All right, I'm starting the bitch. five minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Five minutes. All right. And go. All right. All right. All well, right. Uh, I don't know. What can I say about myself that I haven't repeated to people many, many times over my well, what the fuck am I 40 supposed to plus write? years? I, yeah, that's <laughs> talking. Like, I can talk about myself in a very narcissistic way. Yeah. But when it comes to, you know, telling people, it's like, man, what do I pick? <laughs> that's the... Uh, Oh, well, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm the older of the three of us. I know that. Should we write in first person or third person? That's up to you. You're or setting not, the tone, we, buddy. Should we write in present tense, past tense? That is up to you're you. You're setting the tone. Yeah, yeah, you're going first. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't start it with once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, that's not a melodrama. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so, since we got to do melodrama, you know, let's, let, you watch soap operas ever? Oh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Like, it's well, always on at the weird places. Mm -hmm. So it's like days of our lives. I looked on IMDb. Was that the one you showed me? Yeah. 10,000 episodes. Yeah. Jesus. From when dude. they start. I know. Because well, they do them every day. <laughs> I know. It's so great. It's very rare there's, that they don't have There's a character I caught. It was a it was the bad, gruffy cop. Yeah. He had an eye patch. Yeah, it's Patch. <laughs> <laughs> it probably is. I, I, I'm serious. That's really? His name. his name is Patch. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 how easy it is to do these things. Just yeah. So now we just gotta make some awesome. Well, should it be awesome action? Because in days of our lives. No, no, no. It's it's gotta, gotta be, be the whole corny thing. Yeah, it's gotta <laughs> be corny. Christ, you know. <laughs> I have three minutes left. You know, you you, you gotta. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I can... <laughs> quick, quick kick to the face. Nope, not gonna happen. That's not in a melodrama. <laughs> As the, yeah. It's more like, uh, it's kind of like the whole Dragon Ball Z thing. It's like the, uh, you have like, it lasts for like 14, 20 episodes, and it's just a lot of screaming, or just a lot of talking, and then a little what bit of action. Mm -hmm. What the fuck It, is it this would shit? be great, a melodrama anime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to write. Uh, uh, Sports comedy was easier than uh, this, dude. Oh, man. Well, how about you? Oh, man. Well... Again, there's nothing really much to say. I did guys, mean, did you guys talk about what program you're in, like what I, we do for a living? I mean, all all three of us are in film. Uh, that's yeah. that's how we all came to know each other. Well, we're currently at the Art Institute in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Don't uh, tell them. Don't tell them where we are. Yeah. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, it's the Art Institute of Pittsburgh. I mean, <laughs> who's gonna come here? <laughs> we have people pounding on the door. Where are they at? <laughs> where are they at? We'll have crowds outside. <laughs> We'll sit there when it's silent. We'll hear the ah. Oh, just because here. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, guys, I have two lines so far, and I have two minutes left yeah. to go. This yeah. is the yeah. hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah. I should not have started this out. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because we have to start where you ended. Yeah. So. Don't look at my computer, you look motherfucker. At, I, I can't read it. I can't read. We're going uh, to we're, we're gonna, it's be going to be an explicit podcast, apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, we're yeah. not. We're not. We're not politically correct whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well. So. There goes our sponsors. If you, <laughs> if, if, yeah, we have sponsors already, guys. If, yeah, if you get offended easily, I don't know. <laughs> go, go somewhere else. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. that, that's that's the one thing that I actually kind of find annoying is like everyone puts on this persona of yeah. like, ooh, I'm in front of a camera, so I have to act this way. I don't do that. I'm 
Um, it's who I am, no matter what. You're just David. It, yeah. It, it comes from people selling themselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, selling their brand. Yeah. Which I, mean, I, I know it's a big thing, but when when I hear the word brand and it's 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 not attached to raisin, it drives me nuts. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> really. Let's uh, let's be people. Yeah. That's. Not I hard. mean, a, I mean, everyone swears. I mean, it's like. I get it, like, people get offended by that, but, I mean, it's in our culture, so. Well, my my ex-wife, um, she, she had me say to her one day, my God, can you knock it off with the swearing just for one day? Because she, she could swear like a sailor. <laughs> and I thought I was bad, and I was like, oh, I got to kind of cut this back. Oh, my God. But, you know, mm. she's actually pretty cool, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to rag on her. Yeah, uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I can't remember when I started the whole swearing thing. It's like I my just, mom was early. Like I just remember like not doing, it, and then all of a sudden it's just, just swearing constantly. <laughs> well, I have 14 seconds, guys, and I I have three lines. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm gonna be able to write for. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm a really good writer. I'm, I try to write as good as possible, but man, okay, fuck okay, this. Five, okay, four, okay, Raymond. three, okay, Raymond. two, very good one, writer. and it's over. All right. All right. So I guess I gotta read it. God damn it. Let's get so this is how it started. Uh, Bethany is a nice, outgoing girl with blonde hair. She has freckles running down the bridge of her nose. In her simple apartment on the 10th floor of a beautiful apartment complex, she stands in front of her door, staring as if awaiting something. That's all I got. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right, who's going second? You, you are going second, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. <laughs> you get to follow that. Uh, no. Uh. All right, so I'll go ahead and start your... There we go. Actually, can someone keep... Can someone keep track of how many times we go? So I went once already. I guess we can keep. Nah, never mind. Our names are. There. I'm sorry. I'm guy, guys. I'm fucking. I'm, 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 I'm fucking up. <laughs> All right. I'm starting. I'm starting your go. All right. He's starting and your go. Yep. <laughs> God damn it, guys. Go. Right. Make it happen. Oh, close your. I'm. Um, I'm minimized. Yeah. Well, fuck you, Terry. I know. All right. So I, I, we've already I, mentioned. I go the man's way. I minimize. <laughs> We've already mentioned that we go to the Art Institute of Pittsburgh for film. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing really exciting about us, really. Well, this probably uh, this is probably the most exciting thing about us. Getting the ball rolling today was yeah. pretty exciting. Oh God, <laughs> it took us an hour and a half. Uh, and then then uh, one of the professors here had to come and just press a button like always. Yeah. <laughs> and what button was it? Speaker. <laughs> the power button on the speakers. <laughs> But look, look, we thought, I thought those speakers came on with those other speakers, because the other speakers that are usually working, those are broke, apparently. Yeah. Well, what we should have done is turned the light on in the room <laughs> so we could see. Yeah, that probably would have helped. I would have been like, oh, there's that power button I'm looking for. <laughs> I thought it was on the back of the, I thought it was on the back, though, but like, it wasn't there. I thought it just ran through the system with the other speakers. Yeah. But, I, um. I, I think we foregone the introduction and just said, fuck it, and just kept, <laughs> I guess you'll figure us figure out as we go. <laughs> Um, Terry, you have a kid. I have a kid. Uh, he's going to be 16. Wow. Yeah. He's my giant. Man. His name is Naveed. Naveed? Naveed. That's an awesome name, actually. Yeah. It's a Hindi name. Hmm. It's a long story. I don't want to get into right now, but one day maybe I'll tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him waiting. But, well, no, no, he knows it, but, you know, everybody else does. Not a lot of people know it, but he, uh... Yeah, he's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, he's 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 in full blown teenager mode. So, oh great, yeah. fun, right? I oh. just got out of that. I'm 20, guys. <laughs> so I just got out of that teenager mode. It was exciting. How old's Dave? I am 22. Yeah. I'm yeah. the second oldest here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm 43. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I think oh. I'm old enough to be your dad. <laughs> Hit the mic, guys. Yeah, I think I think Terry has his beat. Yeah. By a lot. Oh, <laughs> I, I've been to Canada. <laughs> You've been to Canada? I've been to Canada. Oh, we're moving to Canada, hopefully, still. Toronto's, Toronto's awesome. Yeah, we're, we're, we're looking at um, apartments in Gatineau. Um, it's in Quebec. Okay. Better it's in French learning, Canada. You better start yeah. learning French. Yeah. I, I've known a lot of French Canadians, and uh, you're in for a treat. 
<laughs> what? You're in for a treat. Really? They're very. Uh, are they cunts? French Canadian. <laughs> so they're cunts. I don't know. Are they nice? I, are they I don't nice know cunts? What that means. I wouldn't say cunts, but um, I'm gonna offend them. They're they're <laughs> they're they're abrasive and. Are they honest? Like if you're. Like, well, if you're listening to this and you're French Canadian, you're a cunt apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you're a possible cunt. <laughs> You maybe just you may just be a cunt. We'll see the comments. And and <laughs> and if you don't like the word cunt, then I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me and this um, I'm, I've been texting this girl. And, oh yeah, guys, it's not so exciting. I'm texting a girl. Um, but uh, we were talking about <laughs> we were talking about how cunt is like the best word possible. I don't say it to be offensive, but people take it offensively, and that's, I find that hilarious. Well, it, it it's it's only offensive really in America. Um, you have a minute thirty left, David. Yeah, yeah, people in, in Australia, I've like I've played games with Australians, yeah, and it's just cunt constantly. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, our, it's, it's like, like a period. In their yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like end your sentence. Yeah, there are hey, no. Hey, punctu- how you doing, cunt? <laughs> there, is, <Yeah. laughs> there is no punctuation. It's just it's just cunt, cunt, yeah. cunt commas, periods, yeah. exclamation points. <laughs> this cunt Bridget was running over the hill, <laughs> fell down, knocked herself out, and then this other cunt Jack come along. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, this really, really is explicit. We're definitely going to put explicit on this podcast. <laughs> That's okay. You don't say. We're, we're young people. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still young. My, my son insists on calling me old man. I'm like, I'm still young enough. That yeah. You don't need to call me old man. Even so, when my dad was my age, I never called him old man. <laughs> so, uh, what kind of uh, music do you listen to, Terry? Um,. Well, the only thing I don't really care for is polka. What the fuck is polka? Polka, it's like... Um, 25 seconds, David. It, yeah, it's, it's, to me, it's the sound of people going crazy. <laughs> it that, does. If, what if you just said to me. Inside somebody's head is, is polka. It's, you know, when they're stabbing somebody, you know, it's, it's not like, you know, some, like, hardcore metal where it's like, or anything like yeah. that. It, you know, some... Some just like ominous tones. No, it's <laughs> so two, yeah, look one. Up some polka. You're over. Damn, I did not get to finish the thought I had. So well, Terry's well, got to pick continue. that up. You uh, start from his sentence. Yeah, he, he didn't finish it. Yep. Go ahead and read it, David. All of a sudden, Bethany hears her door knock, and it almost surprised her as she was lost in thought. She slowly walks towards the door, opening it. And when she sees her half-sister standing there with makeup running down her face, carrying a bunch of bags, saying to her, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I guess we didn't really mention this at the beginning, but this is all improv. Like, we wanted to just all be improv um, just because we find that fun. Like, we're not just going to sit here and tell stories to each other. That is, that's not fun for us. Um, just going to mention that. But I guess it's Terry's turn. It is my turn. See Wait, I, want to, I want to reread what he's put real quick. You guys, let's see if my silly dyslexic ass can do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, so, all right, yeah, you go ahead, Terry. You start typing in about five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay. So, um, mentioned with when he was talking about that's mine. That's my, oh yeah, it is. I didn't. Ah! Get, I didn't get to read them. I can't. He's a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> You're a cheater. I'm putting myself ahead. <laughs> Just like the Patriots. Man, the computer is blocking the window, so it looked like it was dark outside. Oh, it really does. It looks like it's completely dark. <laughs> I know. Is it blocking? Oh, it is blocking the window. Yeah. It's like, man, we've been at this for a long time. Yes, we have. Yeah. Um, so, when Terry was talking about music, um, I guess I'll just say what music I like. I mean, I like orchestral music more than anything. Like, I like symphonies and stuff, which I guess makes me kind of weird. Um, I could listen to anything, really, though. Like I like heavy metal. I like um, screamo. I like some rap. I like emo rap a lot. Sad boy. Little Pete. Little Pete, motherfucker. R.I.P. Yeah. Thank you. Rest in peace. The since we're on a music theme, uh, there's only one type of music I will not listen to, and that is country. Don't. So you 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 listen to Gucci Gang? Gucci uh, Gang. Gucci <laughs> Gang. Gucci Gang. Gucci Gang. Gucci Gang. Uh, I will over country. I. I, I like country, dude. I have nothing against the people that listen to it. I just don't like the music. That is my only thing. Well, that gets that gets me into this. Where are you from? I'm from the South. Well, I guess is West Virginia considered the South? Because I can listen to country. 
essay. It is. Really? Okay. I thought Virginia was considered South. And West Virginia is considered a West. We're in the West Hemisphere. Well, I'm South. <laughs> Just kidding. When you go to Georgia, West Virginia yeah, and they say. talk like this. Oh, man. We don't all talk like that. Uh, Alabama's like I've, that. I've been all over West Virginia. <laughs> Alabama's like that. You go to Alabama, it's just all they have is football. It is, I don't want to offend anyone, but Alabama's really boring. Yeah. The only You're not thing offend they, anyone. Even, even Alabamers know Alabama sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's Three all, they, all they have is the Alabama college team. Yeah, and they always fucking win. It's really annoying. Because they're the best. I stopped watching college football. It's it's just it's boring. It's boring. Terry, where are you from? Uh, Uniontown, down by West Virginia. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Two West Virginias here? Oh man. Well, I wasn't again, I was born in Rhode Island, grew up in Georgia, and then moved up here. So to Pittsburgh. To uh to Johnstown, to, Pennsylvania. To yeah, the place that uh I tell you what, Johnstown's pretty fucking boring. It's not boring. It is just like, hey, if you go outside and just start to say, huh, boom, <laughs> a thousand people show up with heroin. It is a, <laughs> it is a bad place for heroin. My where I where I'm from, Beckley, West Virginia. It's like a, it's pills. It's all pills, man. Two minutes, Terry. Having fun over there, Terry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, hopefully, I think Terry got um, has the gist of this. Uh, we kind of just brought him in yesterday. <laughs> Like yesterday night. Hey, guess what? I'm gonna send you a text. You got to be here at so and so. Yeah, and after this, we have to go fucking film a, a project. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, but because David lost his battery charger. Yay. Uh, I think my sister stole it. Your sister, man. I. Whoa. Oh, no. Whoa. Is she gonna be listening to this? <laughs> hey, Larry. Yeah. You stole our stuff. His sister's name is Larry. Yep. It's her actual name, guys. Yep. It, I, I tell people that. <laughs> I refuse to say her actual name. You've said it once or twice, and you, you you just look like the dead person on the inside. Like, on the outside, I should say. I Yeah, it's like, ah, oh, it hurts. It's like, what's your sister's name? Larry. And they're like, what, really? I'm like, no. And then I have to, like, write it out or spell it, because I do not want to say it. <clears throat> I, think, I, think, I think Terry's having fun. I hear him typing. Oh, yeah. I feel like he's going to be really good at melodramas. <laughs> just get Maybe. Put, put, 40, 45 put, seconds. Yeah, put us to shame. I just don't get melodramas, dude. Oh. I've only watched like five minutes of a soap opera before, and it's the time James Franco was in it. Oh, I, they're a piece of work. I like them. I would like to get all the days of our lives. That'd be great. It would really suck. That's just not recording. It's recording. It's still counting. Hey, Terry, can you talk real quick? I can talk real quick. All right. Thank you. You're just not going to see it. I think I'm done. You think you're done with 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even pop up. It's still recording. And that's it. All right, go ahead and read yours, Terry. Uh... <laughs> So uh, I'm just going to piggyback off the, uh, the, uh, at the last, last part. Uh, um, he's carrying a bunch of bags and says, and, and <laughs> saying, uh, makeup running down her face, carrying a bunch of bags and saying, saying her, sister, blade has hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Bethany shocked. Started to wonder if it was because she told Blade Meg cheated on him. Bethany reached into her bag and pulled out her Glock. Let's take care of this. <laughs> yes! That's, the, that's a melodrama action! Holy shit! That's a melodrama Holy action! Holy shit, we just took this, like, it went from zero to a hundred. Yeah. Well, you gotta... You, you, see, you, get, you gotta kind of switch it up because... With sister. How they are. He wrote, sister, Blade has hit me. <laughs> Well, Who the mean, fuck is Blade? <laughs> we don't know yet. Well, you gotta tell us. <laughs> yeah, you do. I'm actually gonna go see if this is still recording. Gonna go see if it's still recording. You haven't had levels in a couple minutes. Well, he hasn't been Jack talking Rabbit. that long. Yeah, I got levels. I'm looking at it right now. Did they come through? Yep. I'm just gonna make sure. <clears throat> I may need to be closer. Let's do this. 
played. Uh, uh, I love it. I oh, love the, it. The, the names that they have on these shows is amazing. <laughs> I love a good name. My, my favorite is when it's like the whitest guy in the room and his name's Carlo. Carlo. Does Carlo know? <laughs> oh, man, that that one puts uh, Buck Ham. That one's up there, man. Yeah, Buck Ham. Buck Ham. That was a good name. That was, that was Buck the, Ham. <laughs> yeah. He was uh, during our test run, he was the, uh, the, the quarterback. Okay, yeah, popular bully oh, quarterback. They do have ridiculous names like Blade and Blaze. And, well, <laughs> we, I, all right, we know somebody named Blaze. So anyway. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, so, my God, we do. Don't yes, we? we do. <laughs> That's what the name I was going to use. Oh, uh, dude, ah. dude, I was going to say, like, um, our teacher, Sophia, dude, she looks at me just sometimes and just what? laughs because, like, the, the class. Oh, my God. <laughs> if, you, if you're hearing this and you're thinking about going to this school, don't <laughs> i don't know I, I, i'll be honest it, well it's it's too expensive it, it's really expensive yeah. yeah i like i like i like our program yeah i do like our program well we have the you know the non-profit thing now so that's going to help us out yeah, yeah. I mean, we already got a lot of new teachers coming in so yeah all right everyone i'm going for my second time all right hang on five minutes and I need to minimize. Hang on. Minimize, you motherfucker. And my microphone's going crazy. Oh, there we go. Fuck you. It was starting to sink. All right. All right. And go. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Boom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Boom. What, what's the most ridiculous name that you've heard in a movie? In a movie? A movie. A movie. Uh, yeah. Hey, you got to be typing. I'm, t- I'm trying to think of a story. He took us to like zero to a hundred, and I'm just trying to. It's an action. It has to go from zero to a hundred. It's, it's a melodrama. It's a melodrama. Action and melodrama that's a, that's are so much the same. That's what's so fun about this because I was trying to set up like I was doing just a setup piece, and then all right, we're here. You ever watch wrestling? <laughs> yes, I've watched wrestling. It's the exact same life. as a soap yeah. opera. <laughs> just, it is. It yeah, really do is. that. Okay. Except there's just guys running around in their underwear. Uh, yeah, and girls. Yeah, divas. Divas suck though. They got better though. Craziest know. name. Uh Hmm. That's hard. That, that really is. What what do you have? Barty Slartfast. <laughs> what the fuck? What movie is this from? It's from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, okay. I, I haven't seen that. I want to read the book. I haven't I haven't watched that. Oh, it was originally a radio program. Really? Huh. Then uh Why do we always say the same thing, David? Hey. I'm trying. I, it's, this is hard. <laughs> Uh, it was originally a radio program. Then they had the BBC show. Uh, Blink has hit me. Yeah, I think it's I think it's on Hulu. Wait a minute. Yeah, I don't understand. Blade has hit me. Like <laughs> domestic violence hit me. What? Blade, the person. That's yeah. Blade has hit me. Yeah. So he hit her. She's like, informing her. Domestic violence kind of hit. Yeah. Okay. I thought. It was <laughs> I thought it was like or, knife or something. Or you could figure out something yeah, else. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, hey, all right. Yes, and improvisation. <laughs> yeah, I got yeah, it. I got yeah. it. Three minutes left for me. <laughs> He's burning through his three, his minutes by know. talking. Go ahead. Uh, you guys talk. Uh, I'm trying to think of a crazy movie name. Uh, you, I, 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 yeah, uh, it's Transformers. <laughs> Just Transformers. <laughs> Sam Wit- Wiki. Yeah, th- yes, exactly. <laughs> That's, that, a, that's a great name, actually. That is a good name. But it's also from the show. Yeah. It is I, from the I, original is cartoon. It? Yeah. I, I, I've, I but don't they never I remember s- watching it. I don't it. remember ever saying it. I love, yeah, because I love I love the original. I don't I don't remember Sam Witwicky at all. No, no, Sam, it's not Sam. It's uh, Spike and Sparkplug. That's that's their last name. Hmm. Witwicky. Hmm. Sure. I, don't, <laughs> I haven't watched it in I so don't long. remember it ever being mentioned in the show, but that's why, it, that's why his name's Witwicky in the movie. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm going to say you take the cake for... Name. Smarty Bartfest. Yeah, yes, exactly. Oh, man. What Tropic Thunder? Do they have any weird names? No, I just like Robert Downey Jr.'s character. I'm a dude. I'm, disguised as... A, I'm a dude playing I'm the a... I'm dude. Yeah. That was it. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. I, I, I probably butchered that quote, but you man. Did. I thought when I was watching that movie, I thought it was a black dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't know it was Robert Downey Jr. until he took the makeup until he took the black face off, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Do you know who steals that movie though? Tom Cruise. Jack Black. Tom yeah. Cruise. <laughs> And he's really great. Right right. really I didn't know really Tom Cruise hairy. either. <laughs> the hairy fist. <laughs> My favorite part is, is uh, so her name who, is. I think it's like who's a key gripper? Who's a who's a? Is a, Meg the AD? sister? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> think melodrama. So, I'm trying. So when he when he when he because they're doing that big video conference, mm -hmm. then he asks, all right, who, who's who's the who's the first AD or whatever it is, and and the guy raises his hand. He goes, I want you to punch that director in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and the guy goes over and punches Keith Coogan, <laughs> or not Keith Coogan, but yeah, it's Keith Coogan. Is it still on Netflix? That's where I watched it. Uh, I don't remember. Tropic Thunder? Yeah. No, I don't think it is. Hmm. They must have took it off. Maybe it is, though. I think I remember watching it on there. I watched it a couple weeks ago. Yeah, my, mine was, like, it was fairly, like, I saw people talking about it. I saw uh, imager posts about it. I was like, okay, finally, I'll watch it. And I watched it, and it was funny. I really enjoyed it. And uh, and I, I think I wa did watch it on Netflix. So, so. I'm going to say real quick that um, when we were actually doing this the first time with the test run, the farther we got into it, the more we were writing. So the farther we get into this, I imagine the more we're gonna be able to write because we're gonna get more invested into the story. It's hard to start this out though. Mm -hmm. It's weird. I got 20 seconds. Uh, actually, 16 seconds to be more exact. All right, I'm not clear on these two papers that we took. Okay. You have to do those at some point. Yeah, so if yeah. you can put them in now or you can put them in later. And I'm done. But before the uh, my five minutes are up. Before the end of this uh, series. Before the end of the story. Yeah, you have, you have, you have to there, put them in there. general things that we wrote. Mm -hmm. Eventually, and then other seasons, we'll have other people do those, so we don't. You know, none of us know which ones they are. And yeah. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> they leave the apartment and go down the elevator. Meg puts her head on Bethany's shoulder and starts crying. She says. Why would he do this to me? And he's so angry. He said, You whore, why would you? <laughs> okay. I don't think that's whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess when I, when I put he said, you, you whore, why would you? It's actually supposed to be Meg still talking. Mm. No, no, no. You, mis you, you misspelled whore. whore. You put a Oh, I know that. I know that. I that's misspelled whore. <laughs> All right. I don't type whore too, got too much, you guys. You're not a big whore typer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, you ready, David? My turn. <sighs> and go. Okay, oh, boy. All right, Terry. How's this, how's this going for you so far? It's good. Having fun? Yeah. I'm having fun. Yeah. I think it's going to get a lot better. Yeah. I really wish it wasn't melodrama. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It, that's, I think it's what, it, what's going to make it fun, though. Like, when, we, when we're doing sports drama for the test, I know I keep bringing up the test one, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> but... It started getting really funny and really fun. Um, so I think this will get really fun eventually. Yeah. And, like, it's not always just going to be comedy and stuff, like, when we write these. But, like, it's melodrama. You kind of have to have that cringy comedy in there. Yeah. Um, like, if we, we'll do serious stuff. Because um, we love writing. I think we all love storytelling. Yeah. I mean, that's... Well, I've, I've been writing stuff for years. So. Yeah. I've been writing since fifth grade. And David knows what I wrote in fifth grade. <laughs> I wrote a Fantastic Four. We need to bring it. <laughs> I do. We need to read that on here one day. Yes. That'd be really fucking funny. Okay. Um, because it's a fantastic. I have it. It's a Fantastic Four three script. So it came. It was. It's hard to say. Like it's a Fantastic Four the trilogy. Cause yeah. The first two came out. And I wrote a third one. When I was in like fifth grade. I made copies for everyone in my class, and we sat around and read the script. But like, <laughs> I jump. I jump like from like, Act One to Act Two so quickly. It's like six pages, and I, I did three acts. Yeah. Well, it's great. My uh, my nephew and my son they like to read uh, fan fiction, and uh, my nephew I had him uh, I had him read a Superman book, and because he's so used to reading the fan fiction, mm -hmm. he was just like, "Oh, that chapter was so long." I'm used to like a couple pages. I'm like, "That's not a chapter." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think the first thing I wrote. Because, uh, like, I, I'm, I'm big into, like, detective stories and, uh, like, the, the 40s, that, that whole Art Deco kind of thing, that, that like, pre-World War II stuff. Yeah. 
pre and I'd say once kind of the World War II era starts, uh, there's just something about that time period I love, and I've just always been that way. But uh, the first story I wrote was this detective story, and it was like it was a page long, and I don't know how I got these pages. They were like the length of like two <laughs> regular sheets. And I just had typewriter, and I'm just like tap, 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 you know, one finger at a time. God damn, you're that old typing on a typewriter? <laughs> typing on a typewriter, yeah. <laughs> we, well, we had this. Uh, we I wish just, I had a typewriter. I liked it, but I, yeah, like I said, I'm dyslexic, so I mess up so much. <laughs> it's like, I just want it for like a, erase, erase, erase. I want it for like a, a hipster reason. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to have. I mean, like, people come over <laughs> to my, like, our apartment. Me and David live together, by the way, and we, we share a bed together. Yeah, no, no, we don't. <laughs> Do you cuddle? <laughs> yes. Is there lots of spoon? Just this morning, he whispered in my ear and said, "It's time to wake up." <laughs> and I kissed him on the ear. <laughs> and, no, and then he nibbled on my earlobe. Jordan, <laughs> it's it's time. And Jordan and I, rolls I feel, over I and feel goes, something not on my again. <laughs> I'm sore from the last. <laughs> we're already making we're already making stories like without typing. Look at us. And then I'm just and then I start crying. And he, he starts wiping the tears away from me and starts sucking his finger with Jesus the tears on it. <laughs> All right, it's just so delicately. But please, please. <laughs> you're destroying the persona I have built up. <laughs> Um, <coughs> but yeah, back to, I don't know how we got to that point, but yeah, me, so me and David live together, and if like people could ever come over or anything, I just put a typewriter on the table, on the dining room table or some shit, people just walk in and like, oh, you're so cool, you have a typewriter. I feel like that's what would happen. Sure. Sure, that's exactly what would happen. Oh my God, you got a typewriter. Must be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know when I had that like powder blue typewriter when I was when I was a kid oh I felt like the coolest person on the planet <laughs> trust me you're heading for something good I am I know I know I'm gonna get laid so much <laughs> he's got a typewriter not just oh my god he's just got me all wet <laughs> do all the keys work <laughs> they do pre pre oh press the P <laughs> hit the P button <laughs> space bar space bar space bar <laughs> now tab <laughs> Please. <laughs> Do I'm say, 10 seconds, David. Trump, stop. <laughs> I'm just, you have all this, all this, this and you're done. Yes, I am. All right. Um, I'm so sorry, David. Um, I didn't get that far. I'm so sorry to the listeners of this. Uh, please, please don't leave. <laughs> Review. They just babbled. <laughs> I think they were drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they went from subject to subject in the middle of a subject as they were making a point. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's is that just one it's of the like comments? walking down the street listening to random conversations. <laughs> is that just one of the comments? What the fuck? <laughs> Please kill me. <laughs> what is my life? Why have I wasted I my time? I know I'm with them, but what the fuck? <laughs> It's, it's actually just you <laughs> commenting. Yeah. It's me commenting on every episode. What's wrong with these guys? <laughs> Somebody needs Dude, to. Get so many like upvotes and likes. <laughs> Somebody needs to stop this mess. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, David. Read yeah, your part. Hey, yeah, Dave. What, what you got? What you got for us, buddy? Loser. We they leave it. the elevator and head towards the parking garage. Bethany pulls out her keys, and all you hear is the automatic car roar and an echo in the parking garage. They slam the car doors, and Beth Bethany forcefully tells Meg to open the glove box. Is that far you got? <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> I think space bar, space bar. <laughs> I'm typing, and then all I hear is space. Okay, space bar, <laughs> space, space bar, space bar tab. <laughs> God damn it. All right, Terry, you 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 took us in a different direction. So close your fucking did I? Yeah, I, did. Well, I was expecting. All right, Terry, you ready? I'm gonna hit play yeah. or go on. The, I'm gonna hit uh, five, four, yeah. three, two, one, go. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I tried to zone out on that conversation. It's hard. That was hard. That was funny. <laughs> 
I enjoyed that. Uh, oh, man. So what are we filming today, David? Uh, we are going to be filming a interview with a very good friend of ours. Uh, I won't say her name, just to respect her privacy a little bit. She's not important. <laughs> yeah. Where's the action? The what? There's the melodrama, but I need the action. I think I have it. Did you not? Oh, there it is. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um. I need that too. Uh, we're filming an interview about the whole artistic <laughs> thought process. What they think when they're about to start something. What's their inspiration? That's. And what's their process of getting something made? Yeah, like she's in fashion, so. Uh, and that's uh, actually all three of us are gonna be working on it, Terry included. Yep. Uh. But, I mean, other than that, uh, we only have a couple hours with her just because she's uh, at work and she's always constantly busy, so we have to work around that. Uh, and so are we. Like, we're always busy. Yeah, I'm oh, I'm very busy, but uh, it doesn't really. I work at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then me and David that, just that, work at the that library. That sucks my life away. <laughs> Walmart sounds terrible. I hate Walmart. Like, when I, back home, there was, like, only Walmart you could go to to shop for groceries and stuff, except Food Line and Kroger and all that stuff. But I, don't know, I felt so cheap going there. But I don't know. Walmart just sucks so much now. Because I, I, now we have a Target next to me and David that we go to, and it's so much nicer. The, I don't think Walmart sucks. I think it's just where it's located. Because if you only have, like, one Walmart in the area, it's constantly packed. Yeah, but the... I know it sounds weird, but the collar of Walmart is so ugly. I love blue, but the collar they use is really it's, ugly. It gets you in a drab mood. It's just bright. It's like I don't know. It's not bright. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a. They try to go bright blue, but it's like a dark blue. I don't know. It feels weird. I'm. I'm. I'm just talking about the whole scenery. Oh. But fuck you. <laughs> just you walk in there and it's just like, I don't know. It feels fake. But I like shopping at Walmart. I won't stop really? shopping at Walmart. We haven't been to, when's the last Sup- time you went to Walmart? Support. Uh, well. <laughs> I, I like don't I shop shopping at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> I like shopping at Kroger because I can get my pepperoni rolls there, but there's no p- Kroger There is I no, know. There, there is no Kroger in this in area. Pennsylvania? None. No. It's only Giant Eagle. Used to. Really? Really? Yeah. Well. <laughs> well, you would know about 50,000 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. 50, there already? Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just 50,000. Oh man! All right, you're next. So these, I'm gonna have to. F- get you we had to get these <laughs> listeners content, Terry. This so um, just bad on I guess. Page. So what should listeners ex- um, expect from us? I mean, I don't know like what our schedule will be for this. Um, I don't know if it'll be weekly or not yet. Um, hopefully, eventually we can get it to weekly. But we were gonna. I, I want to release this first episode up so like, we can see what the reception is. Well, I don't. Again, I, we need we need more. We need to release three at one time. Yeah. So. You know, it's just smarter have you know give the audience way more uh, content. So, Terry, are you available next Wednesday? Yeah, let's discuss our schedule as we record. Well, <laughs> when else are we going to discuss not? it? That that that's riveting. <laughs> it's so riveting. riveting. Um, I yeah, mean, I, I get... could make it happen. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, is, is next Wednesday the only time we can do it? I think it is. Are you here tomorrow? No. I'll be at Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! So I guess next Wednesday. I have to be there at five in the morning. I hope you're listening, Walmart. We at would Walmart, like you to be a sponsor. <laughs> at Walmart, they won't do that. <laughs> Aren't they going out of business? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> um, you got forty-five seconds. Um, yeah, I guess <clears throat> next Wednesday is the only time we can do it. So we need to record two next Wednesday. I think we'll be able to make it happen a little. Yeah, because (laughs) this time we've got fun. Because we found the on switch. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, we did. How exciting was it to find the on switch, though? I was so excited. Did you hear me jump? I'm like, ah, I knew it. There was an on switch. All right, you got 15 seconds. (laughs) I'm still kind of laughing at myself for Blade. Blade. Four, three, two, one, and done. All right. Well, let's hear it. Meg reaches into the glove box to find a second gun. Load it up, Bethany screamed. 
We need to show him not to mess with the Nesbeth sisters. <laughs> Stop screaming, Meg, as, she, oh, uh, as they almost hit. Oh my god. <laughs> it's oh my god. Nesbeth sisters. <laughs> oh, great, man. You're killing us <laughs> in the melodrama right now. God damn it. He's got to think just stupid names. I, I know, <laughs> but Nesbeth, that's perfect. Well, I got it from Toy Story. Really? Yeah. You can't copy. It's copyrighted. No, it's not. I oh, know, I'm just kidding. It's where uh, um, uh, Buzz is. Uh, he's Princess. Yes, in the I'm first one. I'm here with Mrs. Nesbitt. Nesbitt. Yeah. <laughs> where and he's, he's sitting there drunk at the tea on party. tea. Yeah, he's at the tea party. <laughs> he's hammered on tea, one arm. <laughs> yep. So, so do you guys want to go? Nesbitt. So should we go one more time each, or should we go two more times each? Um, I'm gonna say one more time. What do you think, Terry? Uh, what we gotta shoot the video at three. Yeah. Well, we yeah. gotta set up at three. So uh, let's do one more time yeah. each. All right. All right. Start this. All right. right. Five, four, three, two, go. So uh, I've been animating my latest project, which I tried to show you before, but yeah, yeah it didn't yeah, work your out. Phone didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, it was like we need to download this. It was on the phone. I recorded it on the phone. I don't know why I need to download it. But um, iPhone sucks. I love the iPhone. I hate Android. Google oh. Pixel for life. Oh, uh, good. Man, until I get bored of it. Shouldn't you be typing? I am. Uh, shut up. <laughs> Shouldn't you be doing something? But, uh, so it got me thinking about uh, animation. <laughs> just like, um, what like, do you mean by like what kind just, of animation? Just like in general? Yeah, just like, um, what kind of, what kind of animated stuff do you like? What, like, do you, uh, like I, 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 I have, friends that like crazy ass Japanese tentacle porn like I'm, I'm completely lost on that one okay so my mind is blown on that by the way because <laughs> I, I watched it and I'm like there's a Nazi machine with women strapped to it <laughs> and it is raping these women and people are like oh this is interesting very groundbreaking what? it's a Nazi <laughs> rape machine <laughs> sipping wine like hmm mm, very intriguing art, art is, yes. art is mm. objective <laughs> I know somebody that that is watching it, and sh and she's like, "Oh yeah, this is pretty wild." She, I'm like, huh. "Yeah, I'm like, this is horrible." Don't be sexist, <laughs> David. Watching it for, um, yes, women too can have feelings. bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> the the women too can be alive. Justin Bieber's proof that women have bad taste. Ooh, oh, oh. shots. I thought you Justin Bieber a woman. The bile and the the uh, the type of animation doesn't really bother me. Uh, I will say the one thing that will always irk me is when it's bad 3D, like CG. Mm -hmm. uh, like there's a couple animes that I've watched where the 3D is just really bad, and it takes me too out of the story to even focus on it. Yeah. But other than that, uh, really anything goes. Uh, I appreciate, I like the story, and I appreciate the art of it to where uh, how much like time and effort goes into it. Then you have like uh, some of the truly like really good people, the cell animators, uh, Studio Ghibli, where <clears throat> like he hand drews the ocean for uh, Ponyo, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just it's just an awesome, fascinating subject for me to just like learn. Uh, Cuphead was all hand drawn yeah. too, and, and and that's just really awesome. Uh, I appreciate the art. I wish I could really do it. Because it's so fascinating. Yeah. Uh, but uh, again, uh, it's just when it's really bad CG. That's that's when I'm kind of like, like the like the anime berserk. Yeah. I love the manga. I read it. Uh, I love it. They said the show. I watched it, and I had to stop just because of it was just bad. Yeah. But what well, was it Americanized? Because there's a lot of them that do that. Oh uh, no! It was all like it. It wasn't. It was. It was all subbed. Uh, yeah, I think it was an. Act, I think it was a, uh, a Japanese company, like most of the anime. Well, sometimes when stuff comes to America, mm. they cut. They cut shit out. Mm. No, this one wasn't cut out. This one was just the actual quality mm -hmm. of it was just bad. Yeah. Like it. Like I mean, one of the hardest things that I've like read and p people have talked about is walking animation mm -hmm. to get it to look natural. They they messed up on that. Yeah. Like he's like jumping up and down. It's like really bad. Yeah. But other than that, I mean the animation. I just I I appreciate it all. It's mm -hmm. a, 
it's an art, and people that are good at it, kudos. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the audience can hear us typing while we're typing. I don't know. Yeah, knows. They, they know what it's from. Yeah. As long as they're not chewing into the microphone. And <laughs> like, 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 like you guys it, just like did right now. Like a cow with cud. <laughs> what? <laughs> like a cow with cud. <laughs> what the like, fuck is dear cud? God. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> it's something they chew. <laughs> well, all right. It's a cow thing. Don't be judging the cows. <laughs> Judgmental prick. <laughs> Ooh, shots fired. <laughs> uh, you have 30 seconds left. That's the 30 seconds with my annoying voice. And now it's 25. <laughs> but no, when I was uh, when I was doing that animation, um, and it was the simplest. It's just layer mask, just mm. revealing stuff as it goes by. And I'm like, I'm actually doing this. I'm doing this. And um, then I was doing like just with pictures mm. uh it's supposed to be like the like the site of a tank it's supposed to be like an 80s vr kind of thing done and it it the like the turrets moving and it's going past a mountain then there's another mountain you can see and then you can see hmm. these buildings and it's 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 in two and a half d that i'm doing it in so, but it's all pictures and it just gave me even though i knew the work that goes into animation mm -hmm. it gave me way more of an appreciation yeah, for it even, uh, even even the shitty stuff yeah like it it's right. hard all right um here's my part of the story a man's uh well i have to continue from where he left off i did that on purpose by the way <laughs> meg screamed as they almost hit and i start a man standing in the middle of the road of the parking garage they come to a screeching halt and the man stands there with a knife in hand meg exclaims jimmy g bethany looks over at meg and says you know this crazy person and then meg looks at then Meg looks at Bethany, kind of worried. Bethany's expression goes from confused to realization. Bethany says, Is this who you cheated on Blade with, Meg? And then Meg looks surprised and says, How did you know, Beth? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Jimmy G. Uh, Jimmy G. Like, I'm not, guys, I don't think any of us are really going to use proper grammar or proper oh, punctuation no, in this because we're just we're typing as fast as we can with improvisational. I I, uh, I used to know it. somebody that they when they when they typed they use no punctuation or spacing they just you, you just look at what they type and it's just full letters <laughs> and I, then they would right, go back go. and edit yeah. all right start David I could not do that no punctuation I, I can't imagine not I could not it. read well my what? mom when she would send no, me texts when she when she first got a phone yeah um which is a few years ago and she she would send me text and she didn't know the zero on her flip phone was a space oh so she would send me these blocks so i would have to copy the text <laughs> put it in the notes and then start breaking it up and then answer her <laughs> you know this was whole process it, it was a process to yeah you know, uh, and I, I i got tired of it I, and i just sent her a text that says zero is space <laughs> And I'm sure she looked at it for a while. It's like zero is space. I mean, years ago was this? Was, was this before um, like, like iPhones and stuff? No, no, I had. Uh, I th that was my, when I had my first iPhone. Oh, so she just but, got a flip phone yeah, now. Yeah, she used to have a flip phone. But I, think uh, I, got, I got my mom. Or we, we got my mom. My mom has a, a, an iPhone seven. Is it the newest one? Hmm. The newest one's eight, right? Because she has the one before the, the newest and the one. X. Yeah, she has yeah. the one before the newest one. Uh, That's oh. what I got now. You have the eight. I the, the I got the X. I got the six. Oh, why are you forgetting the seven? I just haven't got it. Oh man, I'm having a blank right now. My favorite iPhone is probably the five, five S. I love the five S. The way it feels and the way it looks. Yeah, it's just so pleasing. They're, they're I, I, I don't, I don't mind the, the, the curves of the, the six. Yeah. But um, it's too light at times. Yeah. So it there's brings times so where I, I think it's in my pocket. But it's not. It's yeah. in my hand. So. I think the iPhone X is the like the easiest iPhone to break. It looks like it. Yeah. It looks beautiful, though. I love it. I love the way it looks. It's yeah. awesome. But I refuse to get it because I know I'm going to break it as soon as I get it. <laughs> it's like, what's the fucking point? I probably, I'll probably get a Pixel 2 when I, have, when I can get a new phone. I have yeah. the Pixel right now. S speaking of breaking phones, have you seen um, uh, End of the Fucking World? Oh, I have. I finished it. I don't think David has I, seen it yet. I've I made it to the third episode. It's such an easy show to watch. Yeah, 
Um, but what's funny is as I'm watching it, it's like this looks like it was filmed in America. But wait a minute, what, how does it speaking of breaking phones? Oh no, they uh, so. <laughs> see what I mean? See what I mean? That's exactly what they're going to complain about. They start something, then they go to something else. It's schizophrenic. It's like Rooster Teeth podcast, man. <laughs> Uh, no, no. When, when just when she uh, she's sitting at the table, and the girl sitting across from her texts her, and she's like, "Is this from you?" Oh, oh, yeah. And then yeah. she smashes the phone on the floor. Yeah, yeah. No, um, no. But that that show is fucking amazing. Cause I saw, cause they released a trailer the week the week before they released the actual show, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna wait for this." And the day it comes out, I'm gonna binge it. I binged it. And it was so easy to binge, and I finished it, and I was like, "No, I don't want it to be over." <laughs> well, I did so that with good. The, the last uh, season of Stranger Things. Yeah. Um, I just I, I burnt th- I I got home from it's school. So much better than the first season. I got eh. except I episode seven. I wouldn't say episode seven sucks. I loved episode seven. The one it, where it, she goes with the, the yeah. crew. Oh my god! Spoiler! Spoiler! <laughs> Sorry, no. Oh, I, that was very vague of what I said. <laughs> no, it, like I didn't mind it. I think it's that they they were trying to. Um, trying to branch the show out a little more with yeah. that episode. I get why And I think it was such uh, a, a departure that um, that it, it just threw people off. Mm-hmm. And if you watch the episode, there's no way they could have cut that stuff in with the previous episode. Because if you try to cut all that in with the previous episode, it was going to be so lopsided. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, they, they had two episodes, so they just... Yeah. I really do think they could have put it in, in multiple episodes, though. They could have somehow done it. You, you just got to think of what's going on in the yeah, story, I know. The, the through the through story. And it's just so hard. Not to everybody's sit going to watch it in one day. But nothing happened in that part. Like there was no, no no importance to it. I think it did. Bitching. Oh God. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> do it. Um, no, no. I think that. Um, you know. Well, I'm just going to kind of go into this. So if you haven't seen it, I don't have to tell you. <laughs> but when she, it, it's her making a final decision of where she should be. Yeah. Because she's really through the the good a good part of the the season. She's kind of doesn't have a place. Yeah. Even though she has these people and all that, but she's looking for her place, and it's just you know that simple. Well, eight seconds where you were was already where you should be. Yeah, but if you if you skip that episode, four seconds, three seconds, two. Yep. One right. and you're over. Yep. One second though. Um, if you if you skip episode seven, you're fine. Except you're yeah, gonna wonder then, why she's dressed like the way she's dressed. Yeah, but then people are gonna be like, well, what was with that girl from the first episode? Yeah, you but know? if you take that out, then episode seven doesn't matter at all. Like, there's no point. And I think in season three, it's gonna matter. Uh, maybe it does, and maybe they may make it a little bit better. Yeah. I'm always open to things. So, well, uh, I mean, it, it it also shows where she could go too far. And she learns to not. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I can see know. why it's there. I just, it, it didn't grab me. Like, it took me out of the rest of the season. It really did. Did it for, didn't it for you? We talked about uh, it a little bit. Yes, it did. Now. All right. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's go back to the origin of the podcast. Let's go back to the reason. <laughs> yeah. All right, read it. Before Bethany and her pride, Jimmy G, who had a long, deep scar on his eye, jumped on the hood of the car, screaming, stabbing the front window, why didn't you tell me? Bethany stepped on the gas, crashing through the entrance, ripping the steering wheel left and right, trying to get Jimmy G off the hood. Bethany looked over at Meg. And that's the end. <laughs> All right, so Terry, you gotta wrap this episode up, so just uh, keep it in mind, just keep that in mind. Oh uh, shit. All right, and I'm gonna hit play. Hang on. Five. Don't hit play. Four. Three. Two, one. Two. Go. Hang on a second. <laughs> one. <laughs> zero. All right, so um, I just want to talk about, like, so what are the some other podcasts that you love, David? Oh, that's a – I mean, personally, I've just really started to get into podcasts. Uh, I always knew they were a thing. I have a lot of recommendations from a lot of people. Uh, one of the ones that I like because I like his work uh, – Previously, and I like their content. One is Smucks uh, by uh, uh, Psychic Pebbles, I believe. Uh, I really like his work. He does some funny YouTube animation videos. Another one that I really enjoy is the uh, the H3H3 podcast. I tried uh, watching that one. I watched the one with Post Malone on it. Uh, 
I really enjoy I love H2H today. I love what they do. I like their podcast. Uh, I want to get into more story oriented podcasts. I like lore. I really enjoy those. I really need to. But uh, Serial, I think's another one. Yeah, Serial. Uh I don't know. It's I'm still trying to, you know, find my place in the podcast world with what I want to listen to. Okay. Because it's uh, it's new. I um so like for me, I love the Rooster Teeth podcast. I've been watching Rooster Teeth since two thousand five, I think. So I I was I was always in love with like what they did. Um so their podcast is great. Like all their podcasts. Um Barbara's podcast, which is always open. Uh, the Off Topic podcast. Uh, I love the Sugar Pine Seven podcast. If anyone listens to that, um, I just got I just got into them and I've, I've watched all their videos already. They're they're amazing. If you haven't watched them, go over and check them out. Um, I mean, I don't really listen to a lot of podcasts anymore just because I just don't have as much time. Um, but if I can, I do. So like the uh, what's the one podcast on um, the Blade Runner guy? God, I'm blanking. Uh, Mythbusters. Oh, uh, you're talking about uh, Untested. Yeah, Untested. Uh, still Untitled. Still Untitled, yeah. Their podcast one. is really good. There's still one they do. I just don't, I forget the name. Yeah, I, I'm blanking on some things right now, but I mean, I really enjoy podcasts. I like the way they're constructed. I just like hearing people talk about people I know, at least. If I, I don't, I don't usually get into a podcast if um, I don't necessarily already know the person, which I guess is kind of putting us in a weird, awkward position. <laughs> Cause like if it was me, like I would I would try it out because just because of the way this is set up and our story and the way we're doing the stories and stuff because that's really interesting to me. Um, the I again I really really do enjoy podcasts, but I'm I like it more visual. I like more learning. So uh, tested, I watch a lot of tested. I like the one day builds. I like all their videos because they're informative mm -hmm. and they're done very well. Uh, Alec Steele, I love his YouTube channel. Uh, he's uh, he forges. He's a blacksmith. He is uh, he's your age, twenty. Oh shit! Sure. And he is he owns like he owns his own business, and he taught himself everything. And it's extremely good, great content. He puts uh, even like from a like like video film aspect. There's a lot of uh, uh, great quality in that. I mean, sometimes One thirty seconds, Jerry. Sorry. They uh. I mean, at some points, even the stuff they do, they edit to music, which is something I always You love like. that, yeah. yeah. And uh, I don't know. Great. I, I'm more, again, I'm more that kind of, like, just casually watching stuff. I enjoy that. So, I mean, um, you brought up a good point. So, what what, is, what are you looking to do in life? Like, what is your goal? Like, something you want to do? The, the goal is to hopefully start the uh, company that... Uh, it's been around in my family that uh, which I mean you guys see in the name yeah that's what we're the, releasing this as uh, Desert Voice Studios uh, it's the thing to where I want to be the person that helps the little guys out to where there could be someone who doesn't really like to speak or doesn't really know people but they have one of the best ideas ever I just really want to help them uh, I want to build a community I like it when the fans and the people that enjoy our content I like when they get to talk to us and they start to give their feedback it's just more of like i want to build like a nice little family of people that enjoy our work like what we do and we can communicate with them yeah which you brought me into uh when you first met me mm -hmm. you know, like close on to that and i i think we've i think we've been able to grow it together uh, really well yeah um like we i think we've taken it from an, an idea to more of a possibility yeah it it's not as Ten one of those three. high fetch dreams it's something that is it's very grounded, but it's still Five, something very hopeful four, for us to do. Three, two, one. one. You're done, Terry. Ding ding. Oh boy. Um, I just want to mention, like, I mean, I guess my my like goal in life is kind of the same thing because I want to be an entrepreneur and director and writer. Um, so I want to create content, and so we'll, hopefully this company can take off and um, we can kind of be like you know the co-founders and like co-creators and create a bunch of stuff and. Because we, we always want to create. I mean, that's one thing we love doing. Absolutely. All right, Terry, go ahead and read your last bit. End the story up tonight. Meg today, starts whatever. to laugh. What's going on? She desperately asks Bethany. I haven't seen Jimmy G in weeks. Jimmy starts to stab at the windshield, screaming, I love you, but you will feel my wrath. Bethany points her gun at Jimmy G and starts to scream as she. You didn't finish it. <laughs> oh, it's such a cliffhanger. <laughs> 
I love cliffhangers. I love serials. Uh, you gotta, you gotta, gotta hang people on that cliff. Cause yes. the black. Fade the black. <laughs> All right, um, so I guess that's the end of episode one. Uh, I think it went okay. I'd like to mention a couple podcasts real quick. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. I uh, ask well, um, LSG Media, they have a bunch of podcasts. Uh, listen to them. Uh, one of the guys on there, Matthew Anderson, he does a podcast called Unknown Words. Hmm. Where, uh, he brings uh, writers in. Uh, uh, the Liberty Street gig uh, stuff, LSG Media. They have um, lots of different um, uh, podcasts. They do Battlestar Galactica, the Reimagined series. They do Stranger Things. Uh, they did a True Detective one. That's cool. Uh, That's cool. But their their main feed is they do science fiction movies. But uh, they they have backers. Sometimes they'll uh, have uh, different movies. <laughs> um, another one that I I like listening to is Eleven O'clock Comics. They just kind of freeform talk about comics. Uh, pretty good guys um and uh now playing podcasts is another one they review movies okay um they, uh, uh, they've been going for 10 years i also listen to, like the all the colli- like the collider stuff too i don't know if you know the collider crew and like no. the schmoes no like, I, I know the schmoes no yeah i love i love christian harloff and mark ellis and all them like the movie Smowdown, whatever like i watch that every episode uh I'm a huge Star Wars fan, so I always watch like all their Star Wars content and everything. Mm-hmm. So that's another good one. The Collider podcast they that they all do. Yeah, I might be a Star Wars fan. Yeah, you're wearing <laughs> you're wearing Star my Wars. Mandalorian shirt right now. I, I'm a diehard Star Wars fan. That's yeah. my life basically. Star Wars, right. Game of Thrones, and shit. Steelers, yeah. Steelers, Steelers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that, I mean, I guess that's the end of episode one. Uh, if you if you go down to the link of, in the description or the links in the description, you'll see our social media, the Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. More will be coming. Oh yeah, definitely more will be coming. Um, when this comes up, there should be episode two and three up on the podcast app on iTunes. Um, and any other place that you can find podcasts. Well, and on, on the YouTube channel, we're just going to release episode one and two first, mm-hmm. and then the third one will come out a little bit later, but it'll still come out in a pretty relative timely manner because uh, we want to I mean we do, we do this for fun and we, we, we want to release it because I think other people will enjoy it I hope I hope too I mean we're, we're still going to do it because I mean <laughs> it's still fun for us yeah and I mean sure as long as we have one fan we'll keep going for you one fan <laughs> if your name's Jared I'm just guessing your name is Jared how's it going man that'd be awesome if his name was actually Jared maybe, maybe uh, I'll name drop Dan Daniel White well just say Daniel White go check out his art um, it's awesome and for, you'll see, actually mentioning Art, uh, the person who did the design for our logo of Desert Voice and for the person you will see, we have the logo for the Offhand Tales podcast. Uh, his name is Brandon Irizarry. You can follow him at uh, B's Designs underscore on Instagram. He's a great graphic design artist, and if you need any work done, uh, he's happy to do it probably. <laughs> so hit him up and see if you can get some work done. We'll put the link in the description for that too. And we will see you next time on Have a great day. The oh. Offhand Tales. You just fucked up my goodbye. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> so, so, shut it off. Shut it off before we keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. Bye. Bye.